I gave my word when I returned that I come back with a smile I don't come back at all, the world is throwing blows but I ain't backing off Everybody claim they want to grow but they just slacking off It took a lot of years to put the hood behind me The best advice I got was that I had to find me Another day, another challenge Hey what's up down here Boston sports fans, Steve Thompson here Thanks for watching another episode of Any Sports Fan TV Can't believe we're up to 56 episode 56 it's pretty incredible man i have so much fun doing this uh, i gotta talk a lot about the patriots today some brewing stuff so let's go ahead and get right into it uh, a lot of crap's been mentioned about brady but you know you don't hear a lot of good stuff that brady does so you're gonna hear it from me tonight brady you know his best buddies challenge is actually info is right here on the screen how you can sign up to be part of his best buddy challenge team so it's pretty good check it out you know it's, it's not that much you know, and you can help some kids out, which is actually, you know, the most important thing here. So, also, as you guys know, uh, Tom Brady had his appeal heard by Roger, the goofball Goodell today. Freaking thing lasted up till 9.30 tonight. So, uh, uh, Jeffrey Kessler, Tom Brady's attorney, you know, he had some good things to say after he came out of the appeal hearing. You know, everything, you know, sounded like they got to present everything they wanted to. It sounded good to them, so... Hopefully we'll get a resolution with this soon. You know, he said hopefully by the end of the week, but some other reports I've heard will be possibly towards closer to the training camp. So sooner the better, if you ask me. That way, Brady, if you know, if there's still a stupid suspension, he can decide if he just wants to take it or if he wants to, you know, bring it further into federal court. But I mean, you got guys like Brewski, Matt Light coming out defending him today. So it's pretty cool to see former teammates actually backing you up. So let's. Just wait and see what happens. You're going to find out from me first on when we get a result. So Also, NHL today, they actually um, came up with a rule for overtime next year. They're pretty much going to go to a three-on-three -three overtime, and if no one scores within that five minutes, they're going to go to a shootout. So that's pretty cool. It's going to be a lot more high, fast-paced action. It's just pending board approval, but usually when it gets this far along in the process, the board's going to approve it. So it's pretty cool. Also, Patrice Bergeron's a finalist for the Selkie Award tomorrow night, which is, you know, best um, defensive forward in the league. So that's tomorrow night, uh, NHL Award. So check it out. Uh, Red Sox highlights tonight. They ended up losing this one to uh, Baltimore. So up and down again, game again for the Red Sox. Joe Kelly sucks. I mean, the guy, you got to get him out of the rotation. I don't know if he has, you know, naked pitchers of John Farrell or what, but I can't believe this guy's still pitching every fifth day. He's so frustrating to watch. He's, you know, he's a momentum killer. The team is playing well over the weekend. They just take two or three from Kansas City, who's one of the best offensive teams in the league. And then this dummy comes out and gives up four runs almost right away. Total, you know, like I said, total momentum killer. Get this guy out of the rotation. I don't care if you have to bring up somebody from triple a you know uh just do something i mean they, he's just not getting it done him and porcello you know gotta make some changes john wake up uh it's pretty much takes uh some more rumors i heard tonight um danny ainge is still trying to trade up into the draft he's also trying to get uh you know he's trying to trade marcus smart for a beeb today so it's kind of an interesting move you know, Danny's all over the place. He's still trying to get to, Mar to Marcus Cousins from Sacramento. Sacramento keeps saying they're not trading him, but Danny's still trying. So it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be hot and heavy. Danny, you know, he came up publicly and said, yep, we're definitely trying to make some moves up into the draft. So usually we, when he comes out and says stuff like that, definitely stuff is on the horizon for something to happen. He's not just going to come out and open his yap and then, not doing anything so still thursday nights the draft and as you guys know we're going to be hosting the draft party online so you definitely should come check it out with us it's going to be a lot of fun just you know a bunch of guys girls just you know hanging out and you know shooting the shit what have you about boston sports nba draft so it should be a lot of fun thanks you guys for watching you know i can't believe i like i said earlier already on episode number 56 i mean it just feels like yesterday i just started doing this but you know, thanks again for watching. You know, have a good night, everybody. Back up in this place, and I'm finally at the front of this race. 
And I ain't going back I'm a rip this track so Oh, I'm coming home Said I'm back up in this place Oh, I'm coming back home